Industry leaders in the city said the tourism sector has witnessed a bustle during the mainland's National Day Golden Week, while the catering industry reported an increase in revenue, which is a rare occurrence in recent years. Official data showed that during the first five days of the holiday, over 4.66 million people crossed the border, including nearly a million mainland visitors, marking an annual increase of over 30%. 內地誒訪開旅客出嚟同我哋預期咧都吻合嘅。Fanny Yuan, executive director of the Travel Industry Council, stated that so far the number of mainland tourists had met their expectations, with the total number expected to reach 1.2 million for the whole seven-day period, which she described as an aggressive estimation. Besides, there were around 250 more mainland tour groups visiting the city than anticipated. She attributed the success of this Golden Week to several factors: various government-organized activities, such as the National Day fireworks and drone performances, attracted significant crowds, while the joyful atmosphere surrounding the arrival of giant pandas also lifted tourist spirits. Additionally, the recent positive trends in the stock market and economy have also bolstered the tourism sector. Meanwhile, around 1.26 million people left the city during the same period, a slight decrease of 2.4 percent from last year. This phenomenon, uh, is relatively small. According to Simon Wan, president of the Federation of Restaurants and Related Trades, the holiday period generated approximately 20 billion dollars in revenue, up 5 percent over a year ago. He said this was a bit rare in recent years because in the last several festive holidays, many Hong Kongers headed north to the mainland to spend. He believed that the appeal of various activities coupled with restaurant promotions, such as 25% off to celebrate National Day, has encouraged both tourists and local residents to spend in the SAR. Jeremy Zhu, Cable News.